di lang tatahimik ang Pilipino. Alam natin yan. Nag, nag, naghihintay lang ng oras yan. At kung hindi nyo alam kung anong gagawin ninyo, mabuti ngayon pa lang magkaalaman na. You should read more and learn more. You cannot make um, logical, intelligent decisions if there's nothing, no facts, no figures between your brains, between your ears. Another point is that when you make decisions, please, please, it's the good of the country, it's for the next generation. Remember that not all of us have an escape hatch like you do. We do not have billions of dollars stashed away somewhere. We do not have houses in other parts of the world that can be a safe haven for all of us. So please read, learn, go back and find out what happened in history because if you don't know it or you don't want to know about it, then you're just bound to make the same mistakes or commit the same mistakes. So remember, we 115 million Filipinos are stuck here. You have the freedom to fly anytime you want. You can have all the jets. You can buy all the, all the houses, the palaces, the mansions that you want. And all the spending money that you could not even finish in how many hundred lifetimes. Please, don't make us look like fools. And maawa naman kayo sa Pilipino. Kayo, walang problema eh. Marami kayong bahay sa ibang bansa. Pera. Madali kayo lumipad. Ginawa nyo na yan eh. Lumipad na kayo eh. O, oh, ba? So, yun lang ang aking masasabi. Kawawa naman po kami. At hindi lang mahihirap ang kawawa. Yung middle class na paunti-unti nawawala. Yung kanilang pinag-ipunan dahil lang naniniwala sila dito sa mga propaganda, sa mga trolls, sa mga tiktok, sa mga... Hindi po yan ang kailangan namin eh. Kasi pinabaliwala ninyo yung, yung suliranin ng taong bayan. Pinabaliwala nyo, hindi nyo pinapansin. Yung may, may reklamo, wala lang. Baliwala lang lahat yan. Kasi sayawan lang, party lang. Sige, biyahe lang tayo. Okay.